folks, uh, Mr. Mathblog here, and this uh, uh, lesson is on one-step uh, equations. This is for our new integrated math series, so this is lesson five. So for the teachers, there's your common core strand. So here we're going to use our properties of equality, some of them, uh, to solve one-step equations. And so our essential question is, how can we add, subtract, multiply, and divide to solve equations? Okay, so let's access a little prior knowledge here. So a reciprocal, you guys, a reciprocal of a number is the inverse. So when you multiply a number by its reciprocal, uh, the product is always 1. So for example, you guys, the reciprocal of 2 thirds, just flip it upside down, you guys, it's 3 halves. Because when I multiply 2 thirds times 3 halves, that equals 1. See how the 2's cancel and the 3's cancel, you guys? They cancel out and everything equals 1 right there. Alright, so what's the reciprocal of negative 2? Well, negative 2 is the same as negative 2 over 1. Think, what can I multiply by to get me positive 1, you guys? The reciprocal of negative 2 is negative 1 half because negative 2 times uh, negative 1 half, this is negative 2 over 1. I should have put a 1 underneath that. Anyways, these negatives will cancel. Negative times a negative is a positive, and the 2's will cancel also, you guys. So, so it equals 1 right there. How about, what's the reciprocal of 1 fifth? 1 fifth times what equals, equals 1? Well, the reciprocal of 1 fifth is 5, because 1 fifth times 5 equals 1. Those, uh, the, the 5 in the denominator and the 5 cancel each other out. It equals 1. Okay, we're going to use that a little bit later. All right, properties of equality, you guys. So you've seen these before. I'm just reminding you that the addition property of inequality is if, if you know, something equals something, if A equals B, then I can add to both sides the same number, C, whatever C is. You know, I can, as long as it's the same, you add it to both sides and it's still equal. So A plus C would equal B plus C. You guys have seen that before. Same goes with subtraction. As long as I subtract the same number from both sides, then it's okay. Okay, the same goes for multiplication. As long as I multiply by the same number, everything's okay. So if A equals B, then A times C will be the same as B times C. Okay, you've seen all of that before. And division property, you just can't divide by zero. So but the same thing works for division. If A equals B, then A divided by uh, C is equal to B divided by C. Okay, whatever you do to one side, you do to the other side. I'm sure you've heard that before. You might have heard the expression, it's like a teeter-totter, to balance it out. Uh, whatever, you, If it's balanced already, then whatever you add on one side or take away from one side, you got to do to the other side. Okay, let's do some mental math, you guys, okay? Uh, and so if x plus 5 equals 6, that is asking what number plus 5 equals 6? Okay, so what would x be? What number plus 5 equals 6? Well, hopefully you guys can realize it's equal to 1. Let's do this one in our head. If x minus 1 equals 8, what number, if I subtract 1, equals 8? Well, hopefully you can figure that out. Uh, 9 minus 1 equals 8. Now, it's not going to be all that easy. We're going to have some negative numbers in front of here. We're going to have um, uh, fractions in front of x. And, and um, So, how about this? 2 times what number equals 8? Well, hopefully you guys can figure that out. 2 times 4 equals 8. All right? So, this is going to lead us into solving equations. And when you solve equations, you use your order of operations, your PEMDAS, backwards. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Okay, this will make more sense tomorrow and the next few days when we get into uh, more than one-step equations. This lesson is just one-step equations. So, so we're going to do the addition and subtraction first and multiplication and division uh, after that. And so again, this, this will make more sense tomorrow because we're just doing one-step equations right now. So here we go. Solve each equation. So uh, for you teachers, just pause it and talk about uh, you're going to be doing the subtraction property of equality on both sides. Okay? All right, when you come back, what I'm going to do is do the opposite of this plus 7. got to get this x by itself, so probably your teacher helped you already. So we're going to go ahead and get rid of the plus 7 by subtracting 7 from both sides. Whatever you do to one side of the equation sign, i got to do it to the other side, okay? So here the 7s will cancel out, and then 12 minus 7, let's count it on my fingers, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 5. i got 5 fingers up, so, so I get x equals 5. And I know you guys are thinking, are you kidding me? Yeah, I'm kidding you. All right, try this one here. Uh, X minus 9 equals 10. Okay, now we're not doing mental math. I want you to show work on this. This is what your teacher is going to want you to show work. So I want to see this action right here. Don't just tell me the answer. I know the answer is 19, you guys. 
but I want to see the problem written down and I want to see this work shown also. So I'm going to get rid of this minus 9 by adding 9, plus 9, plus 9 to both sides. Okay, and so the minus 9 and plus 9 will cancel out and 10 plus 9 is 19. And I know you guys can do that in your head, but you'll see uh, the importance of showing your work as we get more involved, particularly tomorrow's lesson and the next lesson. So showing your work is crucial. So get used to it, you guys. Your teacher will get uh, start requiring you to show all your work. Just writing down answers doesn't work anymore, you guys. So All right, so negative 9 plus x equals 16. I need to get x all by itself. It has this minus 9 right here. So I'm going to go plus 9 underneath this minus 9. That means I got to go plus 9 to the 16 right there. Okay, so there's that. Just an added 9 to both sides. Use the addition property of equality. And then the 9's cancel, the negative 9's, and 16 plus 9. 9 plus 16 is, or 9 plus 6 is 15. I carry the 1, and then 1 plus 1 is 2. So I get x equals 25. All right, try this one. Okay, this time the x is over here. So I've got to get rid of this minus 7 by going plus 7, plus 7 to both sides. So I'm going to add 7 to both sides right there. Okay, now be careful, guys. Remember when I'm adding these numbers right here, these integers, remember the couple lessons ago with the number line right here? Negative 20 would be 20 to the left this way over here at negative 20. And then plus 7 would mean to go back this way 7 units. So where would it take you? Hopefully you guys would just do, it's like a subtraction problem, but it's going to be, it's going to take me to a negative 13 right there. So x equals negative 13. A lot of students still want to say 27 or negative 27. So just be careful when you're adding integers and they're different signs, subtract them. And then take the, the sign that has the bigger integer with it, okay, or the, the bigger absolute value. Okay, ask your teacher about absolute values. Okay, this one here, um, here it says negative 6 times what number equals 30. So this is negative 6 times. I'm going to do the opposite of uh, multiplication, which is division, hopefully. And I want to get x all by itself. So I don't want to just get rid of 6. I want to get rid of the negative also. So I'm going to divide, divide both sides by negative 6. Okay, that way the negatives are going to cancel over here and the 6's are going to cancel. I'm left with plain old x. And remember, uh, from the last lesson, I think it was, a positive divided by a negative is a negative. So I get negative 5 right there. All right, how about this one? Okay, here I have uh, 45 equals 9 times some number. So I'm going to I'm going to uh, divide both sides by 9. And 45 divided by 9 is still 5. It was yesterday. It still is today. All right. Okay, let's try another one here. All right, ooh, a fraction. Wow, okay, well, don't let fractions scare you, you guys. They're pretty easy. This says x divided by 3 equals negative 6. So instead of dividing by 3, I'm going to do the opposite and multiply. I'm going to multiply both sides by this denominator, by 3. Okay, so here, this 3 and this 3 cancel each other out, and then I'm left with just x. Over here, I have a negative times a positive is a negative, and 6 times 3 is 18, so the answer is negative 18. You see how the 3s cancel right there? All right, let's try this guy here. Okay, you, okay pause it, and, and you try it with that one. Okay, this one says x over negative 7, so x divided by negative 7 equals negative 3. So again, I'm going to do the opposite of division, which is multiplication. I'm going to multiply both sides by this number right here, negative 7. So I'm going to put negative 7 on both sides right there. Okay, here the negatives will cancel, the 7s will cancel, so I have just plain old x. And over here I have a negative times a negative, remember that is a positive, so x equals 21. Okay, positive 21. All right. Uh, let's see. Oh, here's a different kind of fraction right here. This says two-thirds times some number x equals 8. Okay, these aren't that bad, you guys. Remember at the beginning I said reciprocal. We, we did some pri access to prior knowledge on reciprocals. What's the reciprocal of two-thirds? Hopefully you guys know it's three-halves. So I'm going to multiply both sides by the reciprocal of that two-thirds. And when I do that, you guys, um, it's going to get rid of the two-thirds over there. So there I go. Multiply both sides by, by the reciprocal of two-thirds, which is three-halves. So I put a three-halves over here, and you got to balance it out and put a three-halves over here. Okay, here the threes will cancel, the twos will cancel right there. And then eight is the same as eight over one right there. Okay, so now I can go ahead and cross-cancel. 
2 goes into 8 4 times, so I can I can reduce that, and I'm left with, over here, just x. I got everything all gone right here, and over here, I'm left with 4 times 3. 4 times 3 is still 12. Okay, so x equals 12. All right, let's try one more of those, you guys. Okay, here we got some negatives. No big deal. All right, I need to get this x all by itself. Sometimes the x is up here in the numerator, and sometimes it's not. Sometimes it looks like over here it's out in front of the fraction right there. So it's both the same thing. This is, I could put this x and slide it right out in front. It doesn't matter. In any case, I want to multiply both sides by the reciprocal of it's not 3 fifths, it's negative 3 fifths. So we're going to multiply both sides by the reciprocal of negative 3 fifths, which is a negative 5 thirds. Because when I multiply these two guys here together, a negative times a negative is a positive. The 5's will cancel, the 3's will cancel. The product of these two guys is 1, and that's what I want over here. So I'm going to multiply both sides by, see if I can squeeze it in, yeah, just barely, by the reciprocal, negative 5 thirds, okay? So now the negatives will cancel. You'll see I did that in green. The 5's will cancel, and the 3's will cancel over here. I put the 12 over 1 over there, and then here um, the negatives will cancel, and then 3 goes into 12 four times, so uh, I can cancel that down. So I'm left with everything canceled over here except for the x. x is over here. Here the negatives cancel. I'm left with 4 times 5. 4 times 5 is 20, so x equals 20. Okay, guys, I hope that helps. And if it does, then please uh, uh, click like or subscribe if, if you'd like to. And if it doesn't help, then please click dislike. Take care, everybody.